Hey everybody, how you doing? John Bonham here, also known as Cape Cod Wet Shaving. I am back. Um, it's Sunday evening. I'm going to be releasing this tomorrow on Monday for a Monday monologue. Um, I'm very tired. I wasn't going to do a bit because of that, but I know I'll be busy tomorrow. I'll be busy. New baby, all that. Um, so I'm busy isn't going to cut it. I'm either going to do it or I'm not. In this case, I'm tired, but I decided for the hell of it. And for my own sanity, I'm going to do a shave video, okay? So I'm not going to worry too much about time, so it might be longer. Um, you know, I haven't said it in a while, but the videos were therapeutic for me. That's why I kept doing them when I first started doing YouTube videos. And in this case, I need this. <laughs> it's been a long few days. I'll get into that. Um, I did a couple of baby theme shaves. I, I was able to squeeze in a shave, a couple shave of the days. But I decided I'm just going to use something that I would like to use. And the advent of autumn, and you might be able to hear the rain. We're getting a little bit of rain right now. I thought I would use one of my absolute favorite uh, cold weather scents. And that is Warmest Regards from Moon Soaps. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, it, it's a toss up between this and Old School for my favorite scent that I have from Moon Soaps right now that I've tried. Um, Amaretto's close, but this one's just so good. It's really good. Um, the scent notes are amber, tonka, oud, and musk. Um, there's also rum in there. I don't know why I saw on the label up at the top there, but there is a rum scent note in this. Very good. Got the splash and the balm I'll be using with that. All right. For the pre-shave oil, it goes very well with it. I use the bourbon vanilla cremo uh, beard oil. And I'm going to be topping that off with Stetson Legend. I don't know if anyone is aware of this cologne. If you've ever heard of it, it's newer or new. Um, this is a very nice, smoky, oody, musky, ambery, perfect fall, winter scent, but it pairs with this like it was made for it. I mean, it even almost matches with it. But if you've never smelled it, it's unbelievable. I love Stetson. Original, I have it right here. This is a daily, almost a daily uh, fragrance. If I'm going out and I don't want to run down and pick out a fragrance, I'll just run up and put on Stetson. So, year rounder, all that. Hardware. Be using my Merker 1904 clothes comb. Okay. I have the clothes and open. I love them both. Open's really good. Mild for an open comb. And I'm going to be using my Cobble Hill Farm. I believe this is a wal spalted walnut. Uh, handle beautiful handle and that's white horsehair the knot so gonna be a good shave whoops and I think treat might just be my favorite brand of blades possibly ever um, Rex are getting up there Astro greens up there but I've tried three different treat types uh, the treat Falcons these and I forget the green ones I like these a lot because they're just carbon steel. And I love that it says for your face. So, all right, guys, let's get this shave going. I'm going to lather on screen and everything. There's Jeff O'Connor at O'Connor Woodworking. I have one of his brushes. How you doing, Jeff? In case you ever see this, great dude. Uh, excuse me. He lives where we used to live in Virginia. Uh, ex-military guy, ex-Navy SEAL, I believe. Makes some awesome stuff. He just said something on my phone, sorry. Uh, all right, let's get to lathering, guys. So my son was born on Thursday, Thursday morning at 8 o'clock on the dot. My wife had a scheduled C-section. All of my kids, all five of them, have been C-sections. So he was 9 pounds six ounces which is big but if you can believe this he is small he's the smallest out of my five kids in order my kids were nine pounds 12 ounces nine pounds 14 ounces my daughter was 10 pounds and one ounce and she is now the smallest out of the five of them she's a little peanut well 
Killian was 9'6", and we think he's tiny. The doctor, I remember when the when he came out, the doctor was like, oh my god, he's a two-month-old. He's a big boy, but to us, he's tiny. So, with premature babies and underweight babies, they do a uh, glycemia test, I think it is. He had hypoglycemia, but it's it's basically a glucose test. It's a blood sugar test. Um, all of my kids have had it because they were all freaking enormous. My wife, who is only five foot four, makes big babies. Um, all the kids were fine, clean bill of health. They were horses, and we went home. Well, unfortunately, in this case, his blood sugar came back very low. When they're a newborn, they wanted it about 45. He was at 27. Now, unfortunately, I had time to sit in the corner while my poor wife was dealing with everything and look up hypoglycemia. And one of the major things is that it can cause brain damage. Your brain uses like 90, 90%, almost 90% of the blood sugar in your body, which I didn't know that. That's crazy. But it makes sense, I guess. So it'll cause very quick brain damage. So what they had to do, some of y'all might have experienced this before. They have to come in and once an hour poke his foot. And they have a little syringe with glucose in it. And they would shoot the glucose in his mouth and then we would give him formula after. And then they would check his blood sugar. They do that three times. If it goes up, which it did, and then back down, they have to do an IV. And they did an IV, unfortunately, for 24 hours. And what they do, they call it weaning. And I don't know what the numbers stand for, but he started out at number 11. They come in once an hour, test his blood. If it maintained a certain level, they would lower it by two units, down to nine. Same thing, down to you know uh, seven. Same thing, all the way down to one until they could take him off. Meanwhile, Jess and I are just sitting there, just hoping and praying that everything would be okay, which it was. So, um, you know, it's quite an experience. And, you know, I was, I was taking frequent trips to the um, chapel, the beautiful little chapel in the church. Very small, but I kind of like that. Made it personable. Made it feel more like God was listening a little more intently. Very quiet. Just, just very nice. So, I don't talk about religion, religion a lot on here, but when it comes to babies, I think you'll understand. But worked out. Big man, listen to me. Thank you, by the way. Hope you all don't mind that. Um, Uh, what was I going to say? Sorry. So it was just, you know, lack of sleep. So this time around, we didn't have any family nearby. Sorry, I'm laughing. I'm trying to get it set and I'll show you. Eight minutes in. Damn it. All right, I need to speed it up. I don't want to take that long. An hour of a dude talking about a baby shaving next to a shitter. I don't think anyone's going to watch that. So that's what I'm getting though. A lot of their soaps are a bit on the softer side, so I know I tend to think a horse hair works very great with it, especially amaretto, which is more of a cream. Very soft, very pliable. Um, so where the hospital is, is on a good day, about 20, 25 minutes away from our house. On a bad day, which can be, which is every day during rush hour. It's going to be about 30 to 35 minutes, which a majority of the time it was. So because we didn't have family nearby, my eight, my oldest son, who's 18, and my 14-year-old, and my daughter, and my youngest, my 17-month-old, 17 were at home. And so I was going back and forth between home and the hospital. Well, that's thirty minutes, about 30 minutes average, one way. I was doing that three or four times a day. So you figure, you know, about 
what is that, three hours a day traveling. I'd go back home for lunch. Sorry, I got a hair that's sticking out somewhere. It's driving me nuts because it looks like it's on my nose. Where are you? There it is. I think. Sorry. Go home, make them lunch, take care of whatever needs to be done at the house. Go back and actually take the kids with me. They'd visit them about 3 o'clock. They'd stay for about an hour and a half, two hours. I'd take them back home. Do dinner. Do whatever they needed to do. Baths. You know, spend a little time with them. Call their mom. We would do video call. You know, like a two-hour phone call. She'd be not home, but she'd be part of the nighttime routine. And then I'd leave, go back till about midnight. I'd let the kids stay up because they're home because of the holiday. And we did that. It was hard. Not as hard as what the woman was going through, though. I'll tell you that. Whatever I was going through, she was going through some stuff with a hole in her stomach. So, I don't know how y'all women do it. Y'all got better pain tolerance than we do. I know that biologically, you'd have to. My wife thinks it's hilarious. She'll pop zits on my back, and I'm like, dude, I didn't open the cube from Hellraiser. You sadist. Because she'll just smack my back and be like, knock it off. Because she'll pop zits, and I'm like, ow. That sounded a little effeminate, whatever. You know what I mean. So it was, you know, it was hard. And then meanwhile, I'm trying to keep track of updates for loved ones and friends, which I'm terrible at. I don't mean to be, but I am. It's just the way my mind works. Moth surrounded by light bulbs. But um, we brought him home today. Right at, almost right at noon, a little after. And that's an ordeal in itself because you gotta, for those who don't know, you have to demonstrate that you can put them in the car seat on your own. They have to inspect the base of the car seat, how it's set up in the car. Dude, that hair is really starting to piss me off. All right, let me pause real quick, sorry. Okay, got it, man, that was driving me crazy. There's this one little hair I just, sticking up right here, it was actually on the bridge of my nose. Sorry. <laughs> it's aggravating. Um, damn it, where was I? I completely lost my train of thought, sorry. Brought him home. Oh, that was an ordeal, yeah, because they checked the car seat. Which is okay. Had to go get her prescription for pain medicine, blah, 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 blah. It was just a long, long, long few days. And just keeping her an extra day sucked. She was so upset about it because she just wants to get home as soon as she can. Because home truly is where the heart is. So. We're here, though. We made it. He's a wonderful little boy. Very chill, very low-key, relaxed. I do want to say thank you to everybody. Be a fact. Melody, Zach, thank you both for the, uh, for the nice words. If y'all have never tried Moon Soaps, man, they're great. Their scents are fantastic. Their base is fantastic. And Melody and Zach are just two wonderful salt-of-the-earth people. Very sweet people. So thank you all both. Good talking to you. Um, and then everyone else, there's too many to mention. I know I'll forget people. But everyone who reached out said congrats and, you know, hope everything's well. It meant a lot. Jessica was surprised at how many people commented on the post. <laughs> All the likes and everything meant a lot to us. And you know, just 
she already felt, I don't want to say inadequate, but she felt bad that he had the condition to begin with. But then you got to lay there with your brand new baby, watch him get poked and prodded and literally stabbed with a needle repeatedly and just listen to him cry and know there's nothing you can do and just hope that everything's going to fix itself. You know, it just, it was rough. But what I told her, to make her feel better, because she was just done with it. I said, you know, there's kid, there's kids out there and families out there, unfortunately, that go through worse. So, for anyone out there who's been through worse than that, I'm really sorry that y'all have been through that. It ain't easy. But anywho. What else? Sixteen minutes, alright. Not bad. It's my heavyweight copper. <laughs> Captain's choice. Thong. Sound like a gong. I don't know why I said thong. I told you I'm tired. I'm on a bit of a sleep on here. Let that dry enough. No mess. Um, I haven't decorated for Halloween. That was another thing. I was driving back and forth, and all these houses were decorated. It was killing me. And just when, you know, things at the house get neglected, you go through all that stuff, and then you get home, and life's just waiting for you. So I got about six loads of laundry I gotta do. Raking leaves, decorate the house. You know, just the way it is. That's why I wanted to do this shave. Absolutely fantastic scent on this, I love it. In warmest regards, the name of it is from Melody because she'll always sign off with a message or an email and I can attest to this and she'll always say warmest regards it's very sweet just such a good fragrance for Paul I hope you all like that picture I did that's uh, the burning bush that I was talking about in a post I did. It's a plant literally called the burning bush and that's why it's called the burning bush is because that's how red it turns. A bright fire engine, gorgeous red. And that photo I took, I'm gonna let my, some of my secrets out. I might do a couple behind the scenes, little reels or a photo or something to show you how I do some of these pictures. That burning bush is actually about 10, 12 feet tall. And the top of it starts first and it works its way down. It, it's cool, it starts on top and then works its way down on the outside and then works in. And then all those leaves fall and it looks like a bed of roses once all those leaves fall on the ground, it's stunning. But because only the top of the tree or the bush turned red, I had to get up high. And because it's about 10 to 12 feet tall, I had to figure out something where I could climb up, but also have my shave set up high. So I parked my car underneath it and alongside it, climbed up with a ladder, and you should have seen my neighbors driving by because I was in my driveway, and took a picture and put a piece of wood down on top of something and had it and was leaning up on the roof of my car and took a photo that way. So inspiration hits, man. You figure out a way to get it. Or you do the best you can. There we go. So a lot of people don't like horsehair brushes for this reason right here is that they're floppy. I like that because it molds to the curvature of your face. Look at this. It's literally like a paintbrush. I like
like that. It's very nice. So I, I'll always like horse hair. I understand why some people don't. But if you want a custom brush, custom razor, that's just well made and really up to your specs and your design, look up Cobble Hill Farm on Instagram, at Cobble Hill Farm. And it's a guy named, it's a couple. John and Stacy, and they're in upstate New York, and they have a home. They're homesteaders, and he makes beautiful brushes. Let me get in close. Look at the craftsmanship on that thing. I believe that's walnut. I should know this, John. If you see this, correct me in the comments, buddy. And I specifically asked for the horsehair knot. And. Um, he made it and he sent it to me and he said, you know what? I think I'm going to get a horse here now. I said, that's the spirit. Pretty cool. All right. I think I got everything. There's some touch-ups. No, I'm good. All right. Let me rinse this off. I'll do post. Be right back. Okay. Outstanding. Oh, I needed that. That's such a good scent. I remember when they didn't have splashes. Remember when they only used to do the bombs? Splashes are very good too. Mmm. Good, good, good. Oh, that's so good. Some heavy tonka in there, musk, and the rum. There's the rum right there. Rums always come out really nice in splashes. It's very amazing just the science behind it all. How some scents in a solid like a soap are less prevalent, but they just burst out of the splash. Oh, that's so nice. Damn, that's good. Mmm. Woo, yum, 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 yum. Spread that down the arms a little bit. Oh, don't want to get it on that. I'm still wearing the, <laughs> look at the little teddy bears. I don't want to get the alcohol on that. No, kill the ink. We're uh, putting those in the baby bo box. Excuse me. We have a baby box for every one of the kids. It's pretty cool because with Aiden, who's 18, we're still adding to it. That's some of his graduation stuff, like his graduation pamphlet and all that went in there. And one day, I was going to say we'll give it to him, but he's not going to give it. You know what? Not until he's older and he has a family of his own. Maybe not even then, but... All right. Sorry. So their bombs are a little more viscous. They're not as thick. Oh, which is okay. I like it because it absorbs quick. It's very good. All right, 24 minutes. Not as bad as I thought it'd be. Oh. So Jess and I are going to go buy a... Uh, oh, I do want to say thank you to Cape Cod Hospital. They're not going to see this, but I just, um, I'm probably going to make a post and tag them. We've, we have five kids. We've had them in four different hospitals. This is at Kaylin and Killian. Our youngest two were born in Cape Cod Hospital. The in fact, our room was four rooms down from where Kaylin was and where, where he was when he was born. Pretty neat. But this is hands down the best hospital I think we've had easily. Um, with you know childbirth and all that so Jess had her own room she had her own assigned nurse 
it was perfect. I mean, she just said she had, you know, they, they came and went in shifts. It wasn't the same lady for three days, but she had her own assigned nurse that was only for her. So it, it was really cool. And they're short staffed and they did it. I mean, that's pretty neat. One of them was from Tallahassee. She was a traveling nurse. But ladies, y'all did great. Everyone involved went well. So, and I thanked everyone else. I know I'm going to forget something. I was trying to think what I was going to say during this, but whatever. Okay. Let me rinse my hands off. Get the bomb off my hands. And yeah, so family of five. I always wanted five. I joked about it. Didn't think it happened. Oh, life's crazy. But um, I'm a happy guy. I'm very content with where I am in life. 42 with five kids. And Jess was joking that if we were a uh, royal couple, if we were royalty back in the day, I had said she had said, um, I hooked you up. Because you have sons, you have heirs. And I said, having four wouldn't be good because they'd be trying to kill each other to get the throne. We're very weird. <laughs> I don't know why I even felt the need to tell you that, but it was just, it's how we are. She was like, oh yeah, I guess so. It's a weird thing to think of. Anywho, let me go ahead and do this and I'm going to call it done. I need to look up the scent notes to this, this Stetson. It's very good. Again, be careful of this. Oops. And you don't get a lot, it's pretty strong. I'll do a little bit more behind the ears. I think there's some pine in there as well. Maybe some balsam. Not a lot, enough to notice. But for the most part, it's a nice, sweet, oudish, you know, tonka ish, musky kind of kind of cologne. It's very good. Pairs wonderfully with this. Okay, everyone. Thank you. Um, really, for everything. Thank you for watching this, especially if you made it to the end. Um, I've noticeably slowed down on the history shows. It's just, it was so much work. And then I was starting to get like 50 views, 60. I know there's a lot of you out there that love them. I'm not done with them. I just started getting into doing some stuff that I've been wanting to do for a while, like the, you know, product use videos. Haven't done a Monday monologue in a while either. So, um, I'll, I will do more. I can promise you that with the advent of the holidays, I do want to do something, you know, in that regard. So I'll figure it out. But for now, I'm going to do this video. This is our first night in the house with a new baby. It's going to take some adjusting, so I'm not sure when the next video will come, but it will. I'll promise you that, okay? So thank you all. Um, you are great. Love you guys to death. I really do. And thanks for listening to me ramble. Really appreciate that. If you made it to an almost 30-minute, the end of an almost 30-minute video, that's awesome. All for you guys. So you all take care. Thank you for listening. And, oh, Moon Soaps. Especially warmest regards. Really good one. Fall's just starting. Pick this one up if you haven't tried it. It's excellent. You won't regret it. All right. Till next time. See you later. Happy shaving. Be safe.